Hi everyone, welcome to another episode of Carolyn and Her Clothes. So today I have a Trendsend. For those that don't know, Trendsend is a styling service brought to you by Ever Eve, which is a brick and mortar store. There are no Ever Eves in my area. The closest one is about six hours of the way. So I tend to do a Trendsend because I get multiple items shipped to me for free, but I do pay a $20 styling fee. And that $20 styling fee gets applied to whatever I keep in the box. If I don't keep anything, I definitely lose that styling fee. Um, but again, when I see things that I like, I think it's better for me to just order a Trendsend and request them versus try and order one thing online, not have it to work out, and then me having to pay shipping back. Because shipping, I think, is usually only free over $100, and I think the return you have to pay. So that's why I'm like a little bit hesitant to order directly from Ever Eve, and I prefer my Trendsend boxes. Um, it is a pricier service. Their clothing is more expensive. It's a boutique and they, they have high end brands. I tell my stylist to please try and keep the budget with, you know, reasonable, which is around a hundred dollars per item. So she did do that. I had a whole bunch of things that I had on my wish list and some of them were pricey, but I mean, I probably had a good 30 different items I had an interest in. And one of the reasons why I requested this particular box is I was so pleased with the last box and I had more items I was interested in. Plus I had a $10 coupon. So I said, you know what? Let me ask another box, order another box. But I'm a little bit disappointed in this one. Happy Transcend Day. Hope all things are well with spring. Uh, thanks for the message. I wasn't able to add some things since we are sold out of them but I added a few pieces from your wish list and set. All right, and I'm looking at this box and really not much is from my wish list. <laughs> Be sure to leave me feedback and let me know what you enjoy. All right, so the first outfit she sent was this, um, these Ever Eve trouser jeans in the color Advocate, size 25. Now my price reflects 20% off. Thank you whoever used my link, I really appreciate it. If you use my link, you get 20% off your first box and I get 20% off mine. So in my last box, they just sent me a pair of jeans and the last thing I need is a pair of jeans, but I kept those and now they sent me another pair. My price would be 11040 and I definitely think that is worth the price for these particular pair of jeans. So they're a different style than the other ones. The other ones I have wear a straight leg and these are a looser, like they're calling it a trouser fit, but I have a similar pair of dad jeans that fit kind of the same way with the looser leg like this. Um, one of the things too is this is the very first box that they sent me shoes. So I have the shoes on and obviously the pants are way too long for um, these shoes that I didn't have to wear heels with, which does not surprise me. So the, the pants, the jeans are gonna be a no. They gave me with it this eyelet top. It's the Logan eyelet ruffle top in white, size extra small. So let me stand back a little bit. This is a very form fitting top and the ruffles are a little bit over the top for me. I mean, I do like a little ruffle top, but this is, this is pretty intense. It is ribbed down here in front, if you can see, and that's kind of why it's a little bit tight and the crew, it has a crew neck. So the jeans are no, the white top is a no, neither of them were on my wish list. And even though I had a ton of shoes on my wish list, these were not on them. <laughs> so these are a flat sandal. And if many of you have been following me, I typically only wear heels. I mean, I do have a few flats, but I'm more of a heels girl. And I kind of was surprised that they sent me these. So the, the top that I have on is the Logan Eyelet Ruffle Top, extra small. My price, again, reflecting 20% off, $62.40. The shoes are, let's see, the Atomic Sandal in Natural Raffia by Dolce Vita. My price would be $64, all right? Um, they're, they're not very flexible, so when I walk, you can kind of hear them clacking away. They're okay, um, nothing wrong with them. Like I already have a pair of flat natural sandals. Like I said, they're not my go-to, you know, type of shoe. 
So yeah, I'm not sure why these were sent. I'm not sure why this ruffle top was sent. And I get the jeans. I purchased the jeans last time. But it's kind of depressing when I had like 30 something items on my list and she's telling me she's sold out and all of them. And I use the um, warehouse, which should have the best selection of an extra small. So, all right, this one's a bust. Onwards to the next item. Give me a minute. Now, I do have to say, um, I've always only gotten six items in my last couple boxes. And when my last one, I purchased four items. This is the first time that they then sent me I think 10 items, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten 10 items. And one of them being shoes. So I guess that's what they decide to send more things. If you're going to purchase more things. <laughs> um, but unfortunately I don't think this box is a very good match for me. So the next thing is she told me to pair with the jeans is something I requested and it is quite cute. It's this, um, Satin blouse. It's the Brindley smock satin top in orange, size extra small. My price seventy dollars and forty cents. It has the the cute like pleating here around the neck. It has the ruffle sleeves. Um, however, this is like a raw edge right here. It's like it, the material satin, like a satin polyester, and they literally just cut it here. So I, I don't know about that to be honest with you. I'm kind of like turned off by like an unfinished edge like that. I mean, the other detailing is, is makes it quite cute. You know, they have up here, they have the smocking, they got the pleating. I just don't know about an unfinished edge at all. It does have the banded bottom, which I like. It does have the V-neck, which I like. It's super thin. I'm not sure if it's see-through or not. I'm going to look back at the footage and make a decision, but I don't necessarily think I, I need this top. I think if I sent this back, I don't think I would be sad. I like it. I did have it on my wish list, so she definitely found something. But um, yeah, here's the back of it. I, I don't necessarily think I have to have it, especially for $70.40. And I do have that $10 discount um, with them, but I'm not so sure about that. All right, give me a minute and I'll try on the next outfit. Okay, this next outfit I don't know about. I kind of feel like a, a, a host or a waiter in a restaurant. <laughs> So she picked out these Ever Eve trousers and the Marion trouser in black. Um, my price would be one eighteen forty, and I'll stand back in just a minute so you can see the pants. Um, if I were to keep these, I would have to size up. I got my normal size, size twenty five, and they're what we refer to in my family as hiney grabbers. <laughs> um, then she sent me something that was on my wish list but it was in the tan color on um, my wish list in the khaki natural. She sent the Brandy Vest by Ever Eve. Again, extra small in black. And my price would be $78.40. Um, I saw the tan on the model and I really thought it was cool and liked it. Um, a vest is something I don't have. Thought it would be unique to add to my closet. And I thought, well, in the summertime, I can wear it sleeveless like a shirt. In the wintertime, I could wear white button down underneath or any other solid color. Um, when I saw this, again, my thing was, like, hey, I could be a maitre d' in a restaurant, you know, or a waiter, you know, black pants, vest, and a white button down shirt, right? Um, and then she also suggested I wear it with the shoes. So I'll stand back <laughs> and show you the outfit. And as you see, the um, pants are too long. I think it's an odd thing to wear with these shoes, these pants, but maybe some can pull it off. Um, they're too tight across my hips and yeah, they're like grabbing my rear end, like going up my butt. So they're too small, the pants, but I wouldn't keep them anyway. Um, and the, like I said, the, the whole outfit to me is, is just strange. This is not my style. To me, again, screams like waiter in a restaurant. So. I'm going to pass on this one and on for the next outfit. I'll turn around one more time so you can see the pants. All right. And as you can see, they're also too long for me. So I would have to wear it like a shoe with the heel. All right, give me a minute. I have uh, one and a half outfits left. Okay, so the next thing she sent are the cut from the cloth jane long short with cuff she sent in the color entourage and uh, is a my normal size zero my price would be 63.20 
I did have a pair cut from the sh cloth shorts on my wish list, and I would spend this price on shorts, but not these, because these are just basic five pocket styling shorts. I'm sure I can find something very similar at Loft. That's usually where I get my shorts. Uh, the ones I wanted had these cute little front patch pockets. They looked adorable. Um, that I would spend the money on, but the five pocket basic styling, I don't think so. I have a couple pairs like this already. And to be honest with you, I don't wear shorts that much because I get cold. <laughs> Again, she suggested the shoes, right? She suggested the shoes. Uh, actually, she didn't suggest the shoes with this outfit. So it's kind of funny because this is the type of outfit I would wear these type of shoes with. Um, so the shorts are 60, what did I say? The jean short, 63.20 would be my price. With it, she paired this Kaya linen rib tank, all right? They're saying that this is linen. I don't know. All right, this is not linen. <laughs> the Kaya linen rib tank and oatmeal. This is not linen, all right? So when I asked for this, I thought it was, all right, it's very little linen. All right, 81% polyester, 15% linen, right? This, this feels like a cotton poly tank. So this tank is 46.40. I thought it was linen, you know, <laughs> and not a knit tank. And this is just a regular basic tank like I can get. Granted, the neckline is a little bit different, but it's similar to the tanks that I spend about 15 or $16 at Loft. I thought it was like a linen material tank. So this was on my wish list, but it's not what I expected. So no fault for her. She did actually fix find this and no way would I spend $46.40 on this tank. All right, it's just a basic beige tank. And it, you know, it says it has 15% linen, but it feels just like a cotton polyester, you know, and it's mostly polyester, all right, top. So no to this, no to the shorts. One more item, give me a minute. Okay, so the next item is this top from Sweaty Betty, the after class crop sweatshirt, radiant green, size extra small. My price would be 54.40. Now, Sweaty Betty's an expensive name brand, so 54.40 I don't think is a bad price. Um, love the color. Not too thrilled it's cropped and boxy. So I, I'm a shorty, so even though it's, it's cropped, I'm, I am showing just a little bit only when I really extremely raise my arms. So for me, the, the crop really is an issue. It's more the shape of it. Um, and I'm not too fond of the little flaps here. I would rather it be just a regular banded bottom. If it looked like this, I probably would have kept it. Um, but it doesn't look like that. It's kind of like loose and flowy and... Like I would wear this like at running or something like that, but I wouldn't because it'd be like flopping all around as I'm running. <laughs> so uh, yeah, th this this is a no, and I'm kind of disappointed in this box. I, I, I have no idea where she thought maybe I might like this. There's nothing like it on my list. The black trouser pants, not quite sure where that came from. Um, I understand the shorts. She probably couldn't get my size in the cut from the cloth shorts I wanted, but I had about 10 pairs of shoes I wanted, none of them being flat, so I'm not quite sure why she chose these. And she yeah, had the, the vest, I guess she couldn't get the tan, so she gave me the black and the white top, no idea with the ruffles, no idea where that came from. <laughs> So I don't know exactly what happened with this box, but I think I'm going to go and ask them if I can exchange that vest for the tan color because I think that's just a more versatile color. I can wear that in the summertime if I choose to. I can bring it into the winter, but the black vest just, sorry, it just reminds me way too much of being like a restaurant worker, all right? And that is my box. What do you think? What would you, am I being too harsh? Um... Is this what you would expect to, you know, my style and think of what matched me? I'm just really scratching my head at where this came from. Well, thank you again for returning subscribers. If you haven't subscribed yet, what's holding you back? Click the notification bell to get notified of future videos from me. Give this video a thumbs up and take care and until next time.